Well, hello, this is Rochelle and welcome to my channel. Today I have decided to play with a white crayon. Why, you may ask, <laughs> am I playing with a white crayon on white pages? Um, so hang tight, I'm going to show you. <laughs> but the verse that I'm doing is in Isaiah 49 verse 16 and I'm doing it in my interleaved, my ESV interleaved and at the moment you can't really see what I'm drawing because I'm drawing with a white crayon <laughs> but you saw me trace my hand and I'm just doodling some random shaped flowers around my hand um, I can see where I drew the hand but the camera obviously doesn't pick it up I also kind of scribbled over the verse with the white crayon to um, highlight that but how is it highlighted because it's white crayon <laughs> the crayon i'm using is no special crayon it's just a crayon from a pack from my kids um school crayons uh the, the nearest one i could find i suggest getting like a dollar store or a crazy store or a oriental discount store uh, just normal small pack of crayons and getting a white crayon they work really great for this technique then I'm writing out the verse that I want uh, from the, the Passion Translation you may know from my recent videos that I'm enjoying writing out the different versions of the verse um, so that I could co compare the two and what really speaks to my heart and um, I just spaced it out with a pencil first and then went over it with, with an F nib this is the fine nib from faber castell pit artist pens and um, i included my name when i wrote down this verse the verse says um, that we are inscribed in his in the palm of his hands and that um, our walls are always in front of him or um, like the passion then says can't you see rochelle I have carved your name in the palms of my hands. Your walls, your walls, <laughs> your walls are always my concern. Oh my word. Like, I just want to tell myself all the time, don't you want to just stop and listen? And this is why I included my name. Two reasons. One, to speak to myself. And the other, to show that my name is there, engraved on the palm of... And yes, this is my hand trace, but the symbolism is there. I've done this page in different ways before, um, but I wanted to try out this crayon method. The crayon being wax resists watercolor. <laughs> so now I'm going to just do a soft wash and kind of like a ombre between purple and blue purple and pink purple um, on the page with a flat brush. Firstly, I would suggest putting some protection underneath the page that you're working on, just so that it doesn't cover all the pages or go over onto the other pages in your Bible, especially if you're working on a brand new one. And voila! Magic! <laughs> well, not magic, but you know what I mean. So, uh, literally just quite a lot of water um, and a flat brush and just a wash of color and going over the page and where I drew with the white crayon, it resists the watercolor, leaving a white line. <laughs> I love this technique. It's so much easier than uh, trying to work with embossing powder to create a resist and all of that stuff. And uh, m most of us, somewhere in the house, there should be a white crayon. Do be careful when it goes into the spine, especially the quantity of water that I used on this page um, when it goes into the spine you don't want to be affecting glue and all of kinds of stuff like that um, the other reason why i wrote my verse out first before i went over it with water is to show you that the fabric style potato pens are waterproof uh, there's no smudging and it's a large amount of water there's no bleed it's it doesn't even kind of like run a little um, and it doesn't bleed through even after I add the water to it um, on the other side. So it's very exciting. I really love uh, playing with my products to see what they're capable of doing. I am using, or I did use, the Faber-Castell 
watercolors in a pan size half pan size and i've got the 48 set then i'm just inking up my date stamp with a fabric style big brush marker um, in black and stamping my date messily like i like to do and then taking that same big brush marker and scribbling it down on a non-stick craft mat picking it up with a fan brush and just adding some splatters to call it a page remember <laughs> rochelle my walls are always his concern my hand my my name in the palm of his hand i'll see you again soon bye bye